In this video, I'm going to be doing a HostGator website builder tutorial going over how to build a website with HostGator using HostGator's Gator website builder step by step from start to finish. I'll be going over every aspect of the HostGator website builder, even going over how to do the SEO setup of the pages you create so you are set up for success in your website creation journey. By the end of this HostGator website builder tutorial, you know how to create and build your website with HostGator using the Gator website builder quick and easy. I'll also be providing you with a HostGator website builder discount that will get you 50% off HostGator's website builder plans, plus a free domain name on annual plans. Let's get started with the HostGator website builder tutorial on how to build a website in HostGator using the Gator website builder. The first thing you want to do to get started in building your website with the HostGator website builder is to click the link in the description below so you can be taken to HostGator and so you can take advantage of getting 50% off plus a free domain name on annual plans. A little disclosure, the link is an affiliate link, meaning our receiving commission from HostGator at no extra cost to you. Plus you'll get an awesome HostGator discount. Once you click the link in the description below, you'll be on the HostGator website builder page you'll see three different plans you can choose from. The Express Start Plan, Express Site Plan, and Express Store Plan. You'll see you'll get 50% off each of the plans. You'll get the Express Start Plan for as low as $384 a month. This plan comes with three email campaigns per month. This plan also comes with a three product online store. The Express Site Plan you'll get for as low as $599 a month. You'll get five email campaigns per month. This plan comes with a five product online store. This plan includes appointment booking and comes with priority support. The express store plan you'll get for as low as 922 a month. You'll get 10 email campaigns per month. An unlimited online product store, appointment booking and priority support. Click the buy now plan button on the plan you wanna choose. I'll select the express start plan. You'll now be on the next page where you can choose a domain name. You'll get a free domain name if you select an annual plan. If you already have a domain name, you can click the already own a domain, connect it here link. You can then input the domain that you own to be used with the HostGator website builder. The next section, you can choose the billing cycle to go with your HostGator website builder plan. You can choose to pay monthly, every 12 months, or every 24 months you get the cheapest pricing with a two year term. If you go with the monthly term after the first month, you'll be billed $9.98 a month. Going with an annual term will save you the most money, plus you'll get a free domain name on annual plans. Next, you wanna enter an email and password for your account. Next, enter your payment information and billing address information. Scroll down to the order summary section you'll see the HostGator website builder coupon code is automatically entered and saving you 50% off. Click the confirm purchase button. You now be directed to an order summary page. You'll receive an email about your purchase and the receipt for your payment. Click the continue setup button. I'm here in the HostGator website builder panel. Now we wanna create our site. Click the create site button. It's now gonna ask you how you'd like to create your site. Express or traditional. The Express option is the quickest way to build your site as it uses AI to create a site for you based on questions and selections. You can then start editing it via drag and drop like seen here. This option is best if you want something quick. You aren't able to choose a specific theme layout like the traditional option with the Express option. The traditional option gives you more freedom and flexibility when creating and designing your site with the Gator website builder. I'll choose the traditional option. It'll now showcase a bunch of themes that you can choose from. You can search what type of site you are looking for in the search field, as well as select categories to pull up themes related to that. If you click the preview button next to the theme, it will then preview the theme and what it looks like. Click choose to choose the theme. For this tutorial, I'll choose this one. It'll now load up the website editor. To make changes to a text, you can click on it and then you can type in whatever you like. Where it says welcome to the Golden Waves Resort, I'll change it to say here is my demo website. You can change the text to be however you'd like. If you click text style, 
you can scroll through a bunch of options you can choose for the text like the page title, different size headings, and different size body text. You can easily change the font of the text, change the font size, change the alignment of the text. You can link the text out to a page. You can change the text color. You can add animations to the text and more. You can easily duplicate the text or click the trash can icon to remove it. If you click more, it'll give you more options you can choose from. Next, let's go over changing an image in the section. I'll click into the image area. The pop-up will show over on the right hand side. Click style. You can then change the background color, border color, and the overlay color for the image. If you click the settings icon, you can then change the image opacity. This works well if changing the overlay color as you can get it to look however you'd like. I'll click the X button. Now just click the image. It's now gonna pull up where you can add or change the image. You can upload the image from your computer. You can add the image via a link. If you click stock images, you can choose from lots of different stock images you can use for your site. You can choose through different categories of stock images over on the left. If you click my images, this is going to pull up all the images you have uploaded in the Gator website builder. I'll click stock images. I'm going to select the business category. I'm going to select this image. I'm going to click place. It's now going to place the image. You can now slide the opacity toggle over to change how the image will look. If you go to the overlay color, and click it. You can then select a color to be shown for the overlay. For example, I'll choose this dark blue color. You can then slide over the toggles to get it how you like it. I'll select black and move the toggles to here for this tutorial. I'll click the finish button. If you click animations, you can then have animations on your site for that area. You're editing if you want. Make sure to click finish if you want to apply the animations. If you choose an animation and you want to clear it out, click the clear button. I'll now click the X button. I'll scroll down to the images section on the page. To change the image, just click the image. Click change image and then you can change the image to whatever you like. You can link the image out to somewhere if you like. You can change the overlay and a bunch more things. If you want to change the sizing of the image, you can drag it out to make it bigger or drag it in to make it smaller. You can do this with text or anything. Here's the text and I can make it bigger or smaller. Now I want to show you how to add a new section to your site. Find a plus icon on the page, click it. It will then list out content sections you can choose from. If you click common sections, it'll give you common sections you can add to the page. I'll click content sections. I'll click mixed content. Over on the left, you can scroll through a ton of pre-made content sections you can choose from. If you click the drop down, you can change to look through more content sections. If you click one, it'll show you what it will look like on the page. You can scroll through different ones to find the perfect one for that section. I'll go ahead and choose this one. Click apply to apply the changes to the page. It's now been added to the page. If you click in the section and click style, you can change things like shown before, like adding in an image for the background or making the background a different color. If you click the image and click change image, you can then change the image to whatever you'd like. If you double click on the button, you can change it to say the text you want. 
If you click the button once, you can select where the button will take the user. You can select if you want the link to open in a new tab or not. To remove something on the page, just click the area and click the trash can icon. Now let me show you how to add content to your site. If you click the elements tab in the left side menu, it'll give you a bunch of content you can add to your website. Click the plus icon somewhere where you want to add something. Click blank. Now just click in that section. Click size and position. Where you see height, you can change the size of that section by clicking the minus or plus sign. You can also just type in a number for the size. I'll select 800 for the size. I'll click the finish button. Next, click elements. I'll click contact. I'll drag in the contact form just as an example. You can then begin editing and creating that section as you like. Next, let's cover the contact us form. If you click on the contact us form, click on manage form. You can then drag the order of what is showing on the form. Click the trash can icon to remove it. You could select or unselect something from showing on the form. You can change the name under label text. If you click field type, you can change the field type. You can select with a check mark to make that field optional. Unselect it to make it a required field to be filled out. If you click add form field, you can then add in a form field that you want on the contact us form. Click save changes to save your changes. Next, let's go over maps. I'll scroll down to the map section on the page. If you're going to have a map with your location on your site, click in the section of the map. Click map markers. Click the trash can icon to remove the current location. If you click the pencil icon, you can then put in an address or location to show on the maps. Next, let's cover the header area of your site. Scroll up to the top left in the header area. Click the select icon where it says header. Over on the right, click style. This is where you can change the background color of the header area if you want. Now let's go over the menu area for your site. First, scroll up to the top menu area. You can click this and click the trash can icon to remove this. Next, click on the elements tab in the left side menu. Click site navigation. Click menu. You can now drag it to the top header area and place it. Once you get it placed, click in the area and click manage pages. Something to keep in mind is the menu will pull in pages you have added to your site. So if you haven't really added pages yet, there might not be much showing and that's why. You can move around the order of what shows in the menu by clicking what you want and dragging it up or down. If you don't want that page in the menu area, you can click hide in mobile menu and hide in desktop menu. Now let's go over adding a logo to your site. Click the elements tab in the left side menu. Click the images tab. Click image. You can now go ahead and upload the logo or choose your logo by clicking on my images if you've already uploaded your logo to the Gator website builder. I'm going to choose the logo I've already uploaded to the Gator website builder. Click the place button to proceed. It'll now show your logo image. Drag it up to the logo area. You want to drag it till you see the attach to header pop up, show up, and then place it there. It'll then show the logo in the header area. You can then resize it by making it wider longer and bigger or smaller until you get it how you like it. 
The HostGator Website Builder does come with a free logo maker. From the HostGator Website Builder dashboard, you'll see the Logo Builder from the left hand side. Click Logo Builder. Click the Create Your Logo button. Go ahead and type in your brand name. For this tutorial, I'll just type in Demo Website. You can add in a slogan if you'd like. You can then scroll through tons of logo ideas to choose from. When you find one, click it. You can then choose from different variations for the logo over on the right hand side. You can change the font. Over on the left, under the Name tab, you can make lots of design changes. If you click Slogan, you can edit your slogan. If you click Symbol, you can make changes to the symbol. If you click Colors, you can make changes to the colors for your logo. If you click Shape, you can choose to show a shape with your logo and what type of shape over on the right. If you click Merch, you can add the logo to Merch and see what it looks like. You can click Edit Product to edit the product further. I'll click the Name tab. I'll click Download. You can then save the logo files on your computer or wherever you'd like. You can then upload that logo and drag it in like I showed you for the logo of your site. Next, let's go over the footer area of the site. I'll scroll down to the bottom of the page and click the plus icon. I'll choose the blank section. I'll then click the section tab over in the left side menu. I'll click add new section. I'll click footer. It'll now provide you with a few footer templates you can make your own by editing. I'll select this one and you can drag it in where you want it on the bottom of the page. Up at the top of the page, if you click save, it'll save your changes when editing your site. If you click preview, it'll show you the preview of your site as it will show live on the web. When you want your changes to go live to your site, to what is shown to people visiting your site, click the Publish button. You can easily undo and redo changes you've made on your page by clicking the Undo and Redo button. You can view your save history. If you click the desktop icon, it'll show what your site will look like live on desktop devices. If you click the mobile icon, it'll show you what your site will look like on mobile devices. I'll click the desktop icon to go back to the desktop editor. You'll see current page. This shows you the current page you're on making edits to. By clicking this, you can change between pages so you can edit whatever page you'd like. If you click the menu icon, you can reset your template if you need to start over. Now let me go over how to add new pages to your website. Click the pages tab in the left side menu. Click the plus icon with the page to add a new page. It'll now list out a bunch of popular pages you can select from. You'll see pre-made templates for the page you can use for your website. If you hover over one, you can click preview to preview what that will look like. You can then click through lots more options to the left to see what it will look like. You can change the category in the top side dropdown. Click the Add Page button to add it to the page. From this previous page we were on, if you click Add when hovering over one, you can add it to the page here as well. I'll click Add on this one. You now want to add that page you are adding. I'll put About for the page name. I'll click Add Page. You can now begin editing this page. I'll go back to the Pages tab. You can click a page and move it up or down to the order you want that page to show in the menu of your site. If you click the menu icon, you can rename the page if you need to. You can select it to be the main home page of your site. You can delete the page completely. You'll see the desktop icon and mobile icon. If you click one, you can hide the menu from showing on this device. 
it'll put a red slash in it to hide the menu. Click it again to begin showing the page on the menu of your site. By clicking the page, you can then begin editing that page. You can then duplicate the page to use for a template for another page of your site. Here's another way to rename the page. Another way to delete the page. Next, I'll click Manage Pages. You can then make a bunch of changes to your page, like the name, URL name, if you want to password protect the page, if you want to hide it from search engines, you can add things for SEO like title, keywords, description, and meta tags, and then any kind of page HTML you want to add to that page. Click Save to save changes. Next, I'll click the Design tab. You can then choose colors for that page. Choose textures or images. If you click colors, you can change the colors of your site. If you click the Edit Colors link, you can customize the colors of your site based on the preset you choose. If you click fonts, you can choose from lots of fonts for your site. If you click the Edit Fonts link, you can choose different fonts for different headings of your site. If you click Text Style, you can change the text style. If you click the Blog tab in the menu, you can click Create Blog to create a blog on your site. You can choose between a bunch of pre-made blog templates. Click Preview to preview the blog template. It'll give you the blog layouts to check out on the side to view as well. Click the Create Blog button to add it to your blog. From the Blog tab, you can also click Create to add the blog template to your blog. If you click the Store tab, you can create a store by clicking the Create a Store tab. If for some reason it asks you to upgrade here, just go to the HostGator website builder dashboard, click My Account in the bottom left hand side. Next. Click Services. You'll see the three dots. Click this. Click Reassign. You'll see a sign plan to this free site. Make sure it's the site selected. Click Reassign Plan. Then if you go back into your site to edit it, you'll be able to create a store for your site. If you click Stats and your site isn't published, you'll see this pop up about needing to publish your site first to see the stats. Once your site is published, you'll be able to view the stats for your site. If you click the Manage tab, if you click Save History, it'll show your save history. You can see your recent save history or click history and choose by day. You'll have to buy save history to restore your site to a previous save that you made. I'll click the Back to Editor button. Click the Manage tab. If you click social, you can add any social media accounts you have you want to add. If you click e-commerce, you can input your PayPal email address to be used and choose the currency you want to use. Redirects is where you can input redirects. Favicon, you can add a favicon for your site. If for some reason it says you need to upgrade for this, you just need to reassign your site like shown a little earlier. Then if you go back into your site to edit it, you will be able to add a favicon for your site. Google Analytics is where you can input your Google Analytics tracking code. Mailing list will show your mailing list that's been collected on your site if you have a newsletter or offer to get email addresses. Form submissions will show all form submissions for site visitors entered via a contact us form. Advanced settings will give you some advanced options you can input such as hiding your site from search engines, site meta tags, site description, and site footer. If you click the hamburger menu icon, click manage sites and you'll be taken back to the HostGator website builder dashboard. When you are ready to publish your site, click the publish button. You now want to put in a name where it says domain. You'll notice when I put in a name, it'll put it in the HostGator URL with .gator.site. I'm going to show you how to put your own domain name to the site next. Go ahead and put a name and click publish my site. 
click the hamburger icon in the top left. Click Manage Sites. If you went with the HostGator Website Builder Annual Plan, you get a free domain name. You'll see a Claim Free Domain Name pop up somewhere where you can click and claim your free domain name. If you click the Domains tab in the left side menu, on this page, you can buy a new domain to connect to your site. Or if you already have a domain, over on the right, you can click Connect Domain to start connecting your domain for this site. Under My Domains, it'll show you any domains you already have. Click the arrow over to the right where you see Assign. You can assign your website to this domain name by selecting it in the drop down. Click Verify Domain. Your site will now be assigned with your domain name. You now know how to start creating your site and making edits to it using the drag and drop editor. That is my HostGator website builder tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up and leave us a comment letting us know if the tutorial was helpful or not as the comments help improve our tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more HostGator hosting tutorial videos.